Henley has become such a big benchmark. It's so difficult to win. It's more of a boxing match uh, than a normal regatta. You can't guarantee victory. So there's just no getting away from the fact there's one other crew sitting there and it's you or them. One of you's going home in six and a half minutes time. It's that simple. The club has been in the right direction for some time, but the men's squad was just a little bit behind the curve really. So the culture just wasn't quite right. They got a big telling off in October 2014. But it's a question of trying to just realign a few a few things and to be honest with you get them training. So I asked the guys what you know anybody not want to do the eight and James Padmore put his hand up and said I don't care what I do as long as it's going to win. And that was it. And it was okay well when are we going to get the eight out? And we realised we couldn't. People are working the full-time jobs, you know, for the, for the most part at least, um, and they're, they're having to balance an awful lot of training and an awful lot of commitment around work life, family life. Rather than spending a lot of time in the eight, we probably spent more time in the pairs training together. We just kept everything competitive. I think by the time we got to Henley, yeah, everyone had, you know, hundred percent confidence in in the boat and the people around them. Because and... there was a lot of pressure coming in. I mean, they were. Um, clearing away the best club crew in this country. But as we kept telling them, someone is lurking somewhere around the world, Germany, Australia, turned out to be America, really. In our, in our semi-final, which turned out was effectively our final really, was against um, University of Bunch Club. But they were rapid at the start. It, it was an odd feeling because we'd, we kind of, we'd always discussed being down, but also Barge were a complete unknown. We didn't know how much we, we could let Barge take before we should start to worry. Build yourself up that you, there's a real possibility of you winning Henley and when you're, you're a length down and you're only a minute and a half in, you start questioning that. Just having the belief that, yeah, we're a length down, but we know what we've got in our, in our arsenal. We, we've, we've practiced for this all year. Once, I think once we'd taken half a length back, we knew the race was ours and there was no way we were going to stop chugging through. Yeah. It was a tough race and I don't think the final margin reflected how hard that race was uh, from a physical and a mental side. And racing down that course and uh, getting to that point where you, uh, you've beaten 31 other crews is an unbelievable feeling. There's a strange sort of mix of relief, I think, in there as much as kind of the joy of winning, just no more excuses, there's no more want wanting to try and another year. They had been working towards this for eight years. The Stern pair, I've never seen two men cry like that. It was pretty, it was pretty emotional.